want to learn about breast cancer radiation and how it reduces your risk for having a breast cancer recurrence, we're going to teach you all about it. More than one half of women with breast cancer will need breast radiation. The way to think about it, radiation therapy can eliminate some of the cells that might be left behind at surgery that in the future might grow into a recurrence of your breast cancer. And radiation is an essential component of a comprehensive breast cancer treatment plan. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you what exactly breast radiation is and how it reduces breast cancer recurrence. I'm gonna review for you whole breast radiation therapy and why it's the standard of care. I'm gonna go over some other types of breast radiation therapy. I'm also going to tell you in general what to expect if you have breast radiation and I'm going to review some of the truths and the myths of breast radiation. So let's get started. What is breast radiation for cancer? Well radiation is when we take beams of radiation and target them at areas of your body, the breast or the area of the breast in this case, where cancer cells might be left behind that will grow in the future and become a breast cancer recurrence. If you're going to have a lumpectomy for breast cancer, you will likely benefit from radiation to that breast to lessen the risk of cancer growing back in that breast. If you're going to have a mastectomy, with or without reconstruction, there's a small chance that you may be offered post-mastectomy radiation therapy, radiation after your mastectomy, to lessen the risk of recurrence. And the larger concept is this, recurrence is a threat to your life. And when we prevent recurrence, and radiation is an important component of that, we improve your survival. Why is whole breast radiation therapy for breast cancer considered the standard of care? Well, whole breast radiation, also called external beam radiation therapy to the breast, is given over a four to six week period of time. It's non-invasive and generally well tolerated. But it is considered the standard of care because number one, we've been using it for about 30 years. Number two, we know that after 10, 20, and 30 years, when we take a look at people that have had a lumpectomy and radiation therapy, it is very effective at reducing the risk of the cancer going back in the breast. And in general, after about a 10 year period of time after a lumpectomy and whole breast radiation therapy, the risk of cancer growing back in that breast is about five to 10%. So whole breast radiation therapy is what we know best and what we know that works. But there are a few other types of radiation therapy for the breast that can be used in special circumstances. And I'm gonna tell you about that next. What are other types of breast radiation for breast cancer? I'm gonna list a few, but generally the goals are the same as whole breast radiation therapy. Number one, to reduce your risk of your cancer growing back in after a lumpectomy, and that's what we'll talk about. But number two, the goal is to shorten the time to give the radiation, so you don't have to go to a radiation center Monday through Friday, four to six weeks. So, the most common other type of breast radiation is breast brachytherapy. And the concept here is where, after a lumpectomy, in very well-selected patients, so low-risk patients generally, we can take the lump out, there's an area of surgery that's gonna heal. Before it heals, to do radiation, rather than radiate the whole breast with whole breast radiation, a device is placed into the breast in the area of the surgery and used to radiate the area where that is most likely to have cancer cells that might be left behind and grow in the future. And that's done generally over about a week and the device is removed and you're done with your radiation rather than four to six week period of time. A second type of radiation therapy is called intraoperative radiation therapy. And this is a one dose type of radiation for very, very favorable breast cancers. It's done in a number of hospitals and there are some concerns about the long-term recurrence rates, but it's an approved, appropriate option for some. And that's where during your lumpectomy surgery, when we take out the lump, 
The surgeon and radiation oncologist place a device into the breast and for about 30 minutes, the area around the lumpectomy site is radiated to kill any cancer cells. It's pulled out, the breast is closed, and you're done with surgery and radiation in one day. There are some concerns about it and you can visit our lesson on intraoperative radiation therapy at the Breast Cancer School for patients to learn more. There's a third other type of radiation to the breast that I want to cover is where you can have radiation in one to two weeks without having a device placed in the breast. And that's done with external beam, accelerated, partial breast, radiation, a lot of terms. And some facilities can use the same device for whole breast radiation without putting anything inside your breast and achieve reasonable outcomes in a shorter period of time. Next, I'm going to tell you what to expect from breast radiation and then the truths and myths are ahead. So what should you expect if you're undergoing breast radiation? Well, radiation, when it's administered in short time periods, a couple of minutes, does not hurt when it's administered. And whole breast radiation, which is the vast majority of women undergoing radiation, can come into the radiation center and exit the door of the radiation center in about 20 minutes. And that gives them time to check in, change clothes, get the radiation over a five minute period of time, get dressed and go on your way, go to work, get back to what you're doing. Generally Monday through Friday for four to six weeks. Radiation is well tolerated. It, there is often a generalized fatigue that can happen that kind of takes a little time to get back on your feet. But remember, you've also undergone surgery if you're having radiation most likely. You might have already undergone chemotherapy. So there are other things that come into play with being tired when you have radiation. You can have some skin changes to your breast. You can have breast tenderness or rib tenderness after the radiation has been done and in the future. So there are some side effects, but it's generally well tolerated. Some of the myths about radiation that are spread amongst people outside of the medical community is that radiation causes hair loss, which it does not if it's just given to the breast. It is just to the breast. The radiation is not given to your whole body. It's just to the tissue of the breast and to make sure that as much of the tissue of the breast is irradiated to prevent cancer from coming back. And breast radiation does not make you personally radioactive when you leave the radiation center. So you can be around your family, you can be around children or women that are pregnant, so that's not a problem. Breast radiation is an essential component at reducing the chance of your breast cancer coming back and improving your survival what type of radiation, and if it's needed, sometimes can be a very complex decision process with you and your physicians. We recommend you engage your breast cancer specialist early on about breast radiation for breast cancer. To learn more about breast radiation for breast cancer, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.